What's going on there, guys? Good afternoon. Uh, good morning to some out there. It is the uh, Earthmaster on the live stream here. Uh, getting uh, an update video going on this uh, Monday, November 29th, 2021. It's a date, 11.20 uh, a.m. my time here in California. The latest quake on the globe up in Alaska. A 3.0 earthquake striking, uh, looks like, deep into the Aleutian region, Aleutian Trench area. Some earthquake activity to chat about uh, that occurred late, uh, well, early this morning. 6.3 earthquake striking off in the Japan area. We were kind of watching this region for some movement uh, over the past few weeks. Just too much in the way of uh, lack of activity for this area. So we've kind of been watching Japan very closely. It looks like it's finally hit. Not the mega quake I was kind of watching here. I was expecting at least a 7.0 or greater in this region where the 6.3 struck. But uh, I can't say it's 100% over yet. Uh, but we did have some uh, large scale movement in the Japan area. Let's go ahead and check that out. This one occurring uh, earlier this morning, like I mentioned, 1240 UTC time. A 6.3 earthquake just south of Tokyo along the trench line here. This area right here sees some uh, pretty significant size earthquakes. This is a little bit further south in the region that I've been watching, just a little bit south. Uh, if you watch my videos, I've kind of been looking at this area around this line right here, this little plate boundary, uh, Japan Trench northward up here to this little bend uh, for some activity. So just shy of this region I've been watching. But nonetheless, some earthquake activity ramping up here along the uh, Pacific Plate. This earthquake struck pretty shallow as well. A uh, 6.1 kilometer depth for that 6.3. Since then, we have seen a one aftershock uh, in the mid four range, 4.7 earthquake uh, in this area. This uh, deep movement here was from yesterday. Or, uh, let's see, when was that? Uh, late last night, early this morning, but prior to that uh, 6.3, we've seen some deeper movement over here just off the uh, coast of Japan north of the uh, Philippine plate here that 381 kilometer deep 4.0 struck about uh, looks like uh, looks like about an hour or so prior to that 6.3 uh, building up some significant pressure here at the subduction zone resulting in that 6.3 earthquake but uh, still kind of watching this region folks I don't think we're done in that area yet uh, we did see a 5.4 earthquake in the Kermadec Trench this thing came in originally at a, I think I seen a 6.0 um, off one of the apps I use on my phone, but uh, USGS issuing this as a 5.4, uh, pretty significant downgrade if that was the case on the 6.0 um, notification. 44 kilometers into the Kermadec Trench, another major player in producing uh, some significant size earthquakes, all this activity occurring uh, following that 6.3. Of course, we had that pretty large earthquake over here in Peru. Uh, let's bring that back here and show you guys real quick. The 7.5 struck, uh, well, it's been over 24 hours now, but technically yesterday, that one pretty deep, 112 kilometers. We still didn't see any aftershock activity from that 7.5, which is very strange, very extremely strange. Um, I guess we don't always see um, aftershock sequences there in the subduction zones, uh, but following a big earthquake like that, I was expecting to see at least some type of aftershocks, uh, and it's possible there may be, but not the uh, not in the uh, way of uh, 4.0 and above. It looks like. Let me let me double check this. Yeah, I don't see anything within this region, so uh, just a little odd. Either way, um, it's a major adjustment over here to the Pacific Ring of Fire, to the um, western part, and also down here along the Kermadec Trench. Definitely seen some uh, heightened earthquake activity. And uh, like I say, we were watching this area here around the Japan region. It's been hit. Uh, it hasn't been uh, hit as much as I think it is, and it's kind of just in the area, like I mentioned, just south of where I'm watching here for some further large-scale movement. The reason, I, the reason why I'm basing this little discussion is because of the lack of uh, significant earthquake activity uh, versus like the accumulated stress that typically builds up in this region 
of the subduction zone. Yes, there's been earthquakes, but uh, in, in the ratio department when it comes to release of pressure and the um, uh, or buildup of pressure along this region, the accumulated stress is too high uh, compared to the uh, release of activity that we've seen. There should have been way more uh, in the terms of releasing uh, stored up pressure in this region. So kind of watching that. Still got my eyeball on you out there in the uh, uh, Japan Trench area northward. What else we got? Some uh, earthquake activity ramping up in Alaska as well. 3.0 striking uh, north of Anchorage, south of Fairbanks, around the Alaska Range up there. Uh, 58 kilometers deep into that region. Seen some further activity along the uh, Aleutian Trench area. This one here pretty shallow, but also seen some deeper movement inland, but dip down dip here of the Aleutian Trench, uh, Pacific Plate and North American Plate interaction there. Uh, West Coast following all this activity, the 7.5 and the 6.3 uh, that occurred off the coast of Japan there. Looking at the uh, return of earthquake activity in the Gulf of California. Zoom in to this region, seeing some fours kick up here into the Gulf and also up north here into Baja, California uh, with a little swarm of activity, some twos kicking off there as well. Let me zoom into this region. We got three four pointers in this area and a bunch of twos kicking off here in Baja, Cal Baja California. Uh, along the San Andreas Fault, things look pretty quiet uh, off the coast, so noticing some odd earthquake activity, somewhat deep movement. Uh, 16 kilometer deep, 1.2 earthquake off the coast of Oceanside, just off the coast, looks like around the uh, Newport Inglewood Rose Canyon Fault Zone, the Oceanside section, sits the uh, that epicenter of the 1.2. We also seen a little earthquake activity uh, prior to that. Last night, 1.1, that one pretty deep out there, 19 kilometers uh, into the uh, Pacific Ocean out there. Up north, Garlock Fault structure remains quiet. Ridgecrest area quiet as well, just some microquakes, some small microquakes in that region. Not a whole lot going on in Long Valley Super Volcano either. Uh, Antelope Valley seen some activity, but nothing uh, of significance at the moment. Uh, in the area down here, Let's see what we got here off the coast of Southern California, 2.3. That was earlier this morning, uh, 9.8 kilometers for that little earthquake off the coast. Just been seeing a little swarm of movement off the coast of Southern Cal. Uh, creeping section has been relatively quiet over the last 24 hours, except for this little uh, 1.9 on the creeping section of the San Andreas Fault. Your pinnacles 8.4 kilometers deep into the uh, plate boundary there. Uh, up north in the Northern California, we did have a little activity uh, following the uh, following the earthquake activity in Japan. Let's see, that was 0436. What time was that on the Japan quake? Let me check here. Zero. Oh, that was okay. So this other one on the 29th. Zero four. Let's see what we got here. Looks like that activity striking well before the Japan quake, but a 2.7, 17 kilometers down, uh, pretty close to the Cascadia subduction zone, but on that uh, triple point plate boundary with the Juan de Fuca, the Pacific and the North American plate interaction here, a little bit of deep movement taking place in that area off the coast of Northern California, 1.4, couple 1.4s up around the Redding area. Mount Lassen seen a diminishing in earthquake activity over the last week. We had seen some movement around the park there at Lassen Peak and also to the south here. Uh, seen some further movement, just microquakes, but still some activity ramping up there around the uh, volcano in Northern California. Up here into Oregon, things pretty quiet. We have seen some further movement around the Garlock Fault or the uh, Sawtooth Fault area. Quite a few twos kicking off here. Of course, this area has seen the uh, 6.5 back in 2020, I believe, uh, within this region. So aftershock sequences can go on for many, many years. Uh, and that's kind of what we're seeing around the Sawtooth Fault area of Idaho. Uh, this could still continue for many years. So we'll keep an eye on that region as well. Yellowstone National Park, the USGS has not added. Well, let me check. Let me go to the seven days, all magnitudes. 
here. Looks like they added some of the earthquake activity, just a micro fat fraction of the earthquake activity that ramped up in Yellowstone a couple days ago. Kind of want to show you guys the uh, movement here that did strike. Uh, we've got to go back a, a couple days and see where that swarm went to. There was a pretty significant swarm on the uh, 26th of November. You could see activity in the northwest corner of the park, right around, actually right around the northern uh, northwestern part of the caldera. Swarm of movement here, but I guarantee you there's way more earthquakes than the listed a uh, couple small quakes they have here on this map. Just uh, they only they only put up a handful of the earthquake activity that did strike here in this little short amount of time. Continued throughout the day on the 26th, carried into the day on the 27th. I'll show you guys that real quick here on the uh, uh, next day. You can see activity continued there around the Purple Mountain Mary Lake area. A lot of earthquake activity to. To look over I guess so you know it's, it's a Monday maybe the USGS has their coffee out and uh, getting on with the getting get on with the show right kind of we re got to report the earthquake activity striking around a uh, a uh, super volcano there but uh, what else we got here folks into the central part of the country southern plains Oklahoma looking like a few small after or a few small microquakes in that region also Pecos Texas area as well New Madrid zone, seen some earthquake movement uh, late last night, early this morning as well. A couple twos. This area has been seeing a swarm of movement over the last week. And then uh, we can look at the last 30 days of earthquake activity for this region. Seeing uh, a few quakes, right, around the active New Madrid area. This, this area very uh, capable of producing some, some, uh, uh, some pretty large quakes. But the accumulated stress buildup in this region not quite as high as typical faults in California uh, so it's looking yeah, who knows right it's been since 1800 or so since the uh, last pretty good size earthquake out there uh, they did have that 4.0 but that was well kind of to the northwest of the New Madrid zone right up against it uh, looking here on the uh, on the US hazard map you can see this area that the US specific uh, <laughs> My caffeine has not kicked in yet. Specifies what is the hazard area for the New Madrid area, New Madrid zone. That 4.0 struck just right outside of that area, but within a seismically hazard area. Um, looks like it's just not uh, right there in the intense region where we've been seeing that uh, kind of that swarm of movement over the last 30 days here along the New Madrid area. You can see it; those quakes specifically follow that uh, that outline of intense regional um, hazard. So don't let that uh, New Madrid zone uh, slip your mind out there. Eastern coast pretty quiet. Uh, looking at Puerto Rico, diminishing activity as well. Look at South America's has gone absolutely quiet since that 7.5. Uh, prior to that 7.5, we've seen a swarm of movement up and down the Peru Chile Trench at some variable depths there, mostly deep into the subduction zone. And then of course um, we had that 7.5 and voila, she's resting at the moment there in that section of the plate, which uh, is allowing for some uh, major adjustment over here on this section of the plate here. So we will keep an eye on it throughout the day, folks. Uh, looking at Hawaii in the middle, right? It always plays a part on what's going on with the Pacific plate uh, above and below. Some movement around the southeast flank, it looks like, and low activity out shore uh, near the Lohi Seamount, 3.3, a few miles from the from the, the underwater volcano, but a little bit of activity picking up there over the last 24 hours. So we will be back a little bit later, folks, with uh, some further coverage on the earthquake activity taking place. Uh, pretty active. So guys, have a good day. Stay safe out there. It is Monday, and uh, we'll chat you guys a little bit later tonight. Peace out.